Okay, so let's talk about how to declare and use constants and variables. First off, I want us to look at the program we've used in the past, and that's that system.out.print program. So you can see here I have my Visual Studio Code open, and I have uh, the main class, the main method open in a class called constant, and I'm going to just print out 459. I'm going to run that, and you can see that it literally prints 459 to the screen. Um, if we look at this particular statement and the value 459, we know that this is a constant. We can't go back and change this while the program is running. When print line runs or print runs, the value is taken at each use. So it is a literal constant. And in the case of this program, it's a numeric constant because it is numeric versus like a string where it has quotes around it. That'd be a literal constant. And in this case, it's unnamed because, you know, although the, the print line is accepting that x as a parameter, in this state, it is not a named constant. So in this case, it's unnamed. All right, when we, when we talk about declaring and using constants and variables, we need to discuss a couple of things, and that is what is a variable and then what is a data type. A variable is like a little box in memory where we carve out a piece of memory and we name it. So we say like this part, particular part of memory is named like A and it's used to store a value. It can store another variable or it can store a, a, um, it can store a value, right? And it can only hold one value at a time. So if I say like, like A equals five and then I say now A is equal to six, that five is taken away and now six is placed in there and its value can change. Um, a data type is the type of data that can be stored. So it's like an integer or a floating type variable or a, uh, or a or an reference type variable. Um, data types discuss how much memory an item occupies and then what type of operations we can do. So, you know, an integer, a Boolean, for example, doesn't have the same operations that like a, a car would have. Um, we, there are two different kinds of types of data. There are primitive types and there are reference types. A primitive type is a simple um, data type. It stores the actual value in memory. So if I say int a equals 5, it's storing a literal 5, or the actual 5, I should say. And it occupies a fixed amount of memory that's defined by the data type. A reference type, it's called a reference type because we're referencing a memory location for the value and it stores whatever attributes and methods you've placed in there. And so it's really unknown how much memory you may have to take for a reference type of data. All strings are reference types of data. There are eight primitive data types as referenced before. Byte, short, int, long, float, double, car, and boolean. And you can tell that they're broken into different base overall data types. So these top four would be integer data types. Um, a byte can go up to 255 and go down to negative, I think 254, but it's basically a byte length. A short is a short integer, so it's half the length, half the memory location of an integer, and a long is double the memory location of an integer. For our floating points, we have float and double, double being twice the, the memory holding location as a float. A car is a single character and a boolean is a true or false value. We're going to stop here.